the Tipsy Artist, and I do the world's largest paint party. My mission in life is to teach everybody how to paint. Everybody! And now with this DVD, you can have the Tipsy Artist in the comfort of your very own home. So you can add personality to your painting with all groups of ages. I encourage you to pause or rewind the DVD so that you can work at your own pace. This Art Instructor Painting Party is sponsored by Royal and Lane Nickel. They are the makers of the Royal Soft Grip Paint Brushes and the Royal and Lane Nickel Acrylic Paint. It is smooth, thick, and creamy for a one coat application. It has a rich pigmentation so a little goes a long way. And the brushes are super durable, comfortable, water resistant, and they have synthetic hairs for smooth application. I've given each of these brushes a fun name to remember. This is Big Daddy, Mama, and Little Bit. So remember, as the tipsy artist, I have two rules. Number one, there are no mistakes, only possibilities. Number two, every painting is divine with a little more wine. So let's get this party started. traditional tipsy yell so on the count of three we're all going to yell tipsy so here we go one two three tipsy all right we are painting make-a-wish dandelion today and here is our strategy the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually do all of our template tracing so we're going to have a ruler, we're going to make a straight line, then we have a chevron template, and then we're going to trace around those. And then from there, we're going to get started with our painting, and we're going to do our color blocking and block in all of our colors first, the main background colors. And then we need to take a break and let that all set up and dry. And then we come back after the break, then we want to come back in and do our flower and our detail work. Okay, I'm going to start with my ruler and I want to measure up five inches. So I'm going to just start here. And this is approximate, this does not have to be exact. So the ruler can just rest on your easel. And I'm going to make lots of little dashes all the way across. You can make as many dashes as you need to make this a more comfortable process because we're about to make one long straight edge that goes all the way across. And then the next step will be to use our template. So we want to go ahead and line up the chevron. You don't have to match it exactly. I can place it a little bit above here. And then I want to go ahead and trace around this shape.
The most important tip with the chevron pattern is to make sure you keep moving it down in the same direction. You don't want to stop here in the middle and then try to come up from the bottom. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to go ahead and open up our paints here. We are going to be using the Big Daddy brush, and I want to make sure that the brush is just moist. So I'm going to go ahead and dip it into the water, and then it's really important, I want to make sure and remove any excess water from the brush. So drag the brush on the edge of the bucket. And then make sure and dry it off with your paper towel. It's really important to not have any excess water in your brush because if you do have excess water in your brush and you go to apply pressure on the canvas, that excess water can actually make a water run that goes all the way down your canvas. So after every single time that you wash your brush, be sure to dry it off really well with your paper towel. Big Daddy is all ready to go. He's nice and moist, but he's also dry. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with our aqua paint. So I'm going to take my Big Daddy brush. I'm going to push back and forth into the aqua paint and load the brush. to start to apply the aqua paint directly onto the canvas. And all of our mixing for this part of the background actually happens on the canvas itself. I'm going to apply the aqua paint in a cross stroke. So again, it looks like the letter X over and over again. I want to add a little bit of variety to this though. I want to look like there's clouds coming through the sky. So I'm going to touch into a little bit of pure white paint. And then I'm going to push that pure white paint through the mix. And I'll alternate back and forth from my aqua to my white. it up into this top corner here. I want it to appear as though there's a little bit of sunshine peeking through here. So I'm going to add a little bit of that primary yellow. So I'm going to touch into that yellow paint and I'm going to push that through again with the same pattern, letter X. A little touch of white. And then blending back in with more of the aqua that circles all around that.
that. I'm getting close to the line edge here, so I'm going to reload my brush and make sure that I have a nice line edge. I'm going to apply some firm pressure to the brush. See, I've got a nice line edge there. Once I have this nice line done right near the edge, then I'm going to work back into that with our textural cross stroke to help it blend back into that stylized look that we have going with the texture with the rest of the painting. So now I am done with all of the aqua sky and it is now time to mix up some gray so that I can start to paint in my chevron stripe. So I'm going to go ahead and take Big Daddy and I'm going to give him a bath. And let's take a look at this really quick, it's pretty fun. In this bucket there are ridges and so that helps me release the paint from the brush. Then I want to make sure and dry the brush off really well. All right, so I'm going to be mixing up some gray, and again, I'll be using the Big Daddy brush. And so I'm going to pick up a nice big dollop of white. And then I'm not going to pick up the black, I'm just going to dip into the black, just like that. Little corner there. Start with that, start small. Be cautious with the black because it's very overpowering and it can darken it very quickly. So I can either have a very light heather gray or I can make it a little bit darker with it, more of a charcoal look. So you can mix to your desired taste if you want to make it a little bit darker or lighter. And that's just about where I want to be. My Big Daddy brush, he is the same width as the chevron stripe. So I want to use him for the broad strokes of the chevron stripe. And then when we get into the little corners, then I do want to switch over to the mama brush.
I'm going to follow up with the mama brush, getting into those tight corners up here at the top. This will be the last step that we do with the chevron print. done with the gray so now we're going to need to take a break we're going to break for about 20 minutes at least to go ahead and let all of this set up and dry and then when we come back after the break we're going to go ahead and make our lovely black stem that comes up and then our really beautiful dandelion We had an awesome break for about 20 minutes and all of our painting is set up and dry. And now it is time to actually move on to our black and I will continue using the Big Daddy brush. So now I need to load up my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and place him back and forth into the black paint. It's really important that I have a nice line edge on the edge of the brush. All right, the first thing I need to do is make a line edge that goes all the way across. So I'm going to use the line edge of Big Daddy, and I'm just going to take it nice and slow. When I'm done with my long, thick line here on the top, then I'm going to do little thin lines that accentuate all the chevron pattern. So again, I want to make sure I have a nice thin line edge, and then I'm just going to continue making thin lines. the smaller details to paint, so I'm going to come back in with my mama brush.
now it is time to go ahead and paint the stem. And I'm going to be using my Big Daddy brush. And I want to go ahead and load him up by placing him back and forth into the black paint. And it's really important again to get a nice thin line edge. And I want to go ahead and just make one stem. It's one stroke and it has a little bit of a curve to it. And think of it as making like a parentheses. That's the simplest way to tell your mind how to do it. But I'm going to start about six inches over. All right, once I have my stem painted, I do want to give this about five minutes drying time because after we do our stem, then I want to come back in with my dandelion and the white flowery part that comes out around in a big circle. So I do want to make sure that this is nice and dry so that it doesn't blend in with the crisp white paint. All right, it is now time to start making our beautiful white dandelion. So I am going to be using the Big Daddy brush again, and I'm going to press back and forth into the white paint to load the brush. And then I need to start making lines. This is a really fun process. I just start making lines that come out in all directions. These lines will form a circle all the way around.
I'm going to switch brushes now. I'm going to be using the Little Bit brush. And I'll still be loading up with just pure white paint. And I'm going to go ahead. And the first thing I'm going to do is I've blown on my dandelion a little bit, so I have a few little pieces that have come off. I'm going to make those. It's about one, two, three, four. And then I need to make the little ends. So I'm going to get a ball of paint on the end of my brush and then just touch down for a tiny little circle. And then I'll continue to do this on the ends of all the lines that we painted, all the way around the dandelion. with our beautiful masterpiece and now it is time to sign our masterpiece so I am going to be using the little bit brush and I want to load it up with some black paint so I'm going to twist the head of the brush into the paint that loads it but it twists it into a nice fine point We have finished our beautiful masterpiece, Make-A-Wish Dandelion. May all your wishes come true with this painting. 